What is up guys? Um, I've been meaning to get onto this video much sooner, but after hearing all the buzz around Halloween Kills after they had a test screening um, last week as I'm recording this video, I'm like, I have to jump in on this discussion. I mean, of how much praise it is getting. And, and some reviews are going as far as to saying it's the best Halloween movie by far and another one was saying that it's on acid and balls to the wall and it's and it's a combo of Halloween you know the very first movie and Halloween 2 and and Halloween the 20 uh, the 2018 sequel and um Halloween 4 so I'm like that's all crammed into one and that's what this movie is I'm like hmm pretty interesting and pretty good choices of movies to put together because I do, and yeah, I mean, I really do like those movies, and like, while at the same time, I'm glad that this, you know, this new timeline is ignoring everything that came after the first one, um, and also, oh my goodness, and 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 they're also and the supporting characters that are that have come back from the first movie, they're, um, I'm hearing that they are very well fleshed out and. They're, they give their all, and I have no doubt that they would give their all what they were given to do, but with what they're given to do, it, I, I want, I just hope that it would be solid, like where it felt like their place in this movie really mattered, as opposed to just fan service, you know what I mean? And um, so, I'm glad that we have that reassurance with those characters, like with um, Tommy Doyle, Lindsay Wallace, uh, Marion Chambers, and... Um, uh, Lee Brackett and Lonnie Alam. We didn't get to see him in the 2018 sequel, but we do see him here because he is Cameron's father. And, you know, Cameron himself because he didn't really give, wasn't given that much to do uh, to, to be anything other than Allison's boyfriend. But, um, so yeah, that that's going to be something to look forward to. And, um, and also that they are going to bring back, you know, like that you know that nostalgic feel that the, um, where they bring the blue uh, the blue light element back into the um, and for this movie, and I'm gonna go out and say that I did not mind the orange tone in the 2018 sequel. It felt more it felt like Halloween to me because it's the color orange after all. But I um I fully am I fully support them going back to the blue the blue light color. Um. So that's gonna be pretty cool, pretty cool to see, and um, in this, like with the flashbacks and in the present day. So it's just gonna be through the entire movie. So I, I'm pretty excited about that, and also like um, and Mike and Michael Myers is gonna have a higher b body count in this one than ever before, and people are saying that he is a trickster this time around. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, a little, 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 little. I'm gonna assume that you. Um, if you are right watching this video that you what you meant to say was that his trickster meter goes up a billion times more because he was definitely a trickster in um, the 2018 sequel I mean like you have to watch it again I mean there are moments where he was definitely a, a hell of a trickster where it was just freaky just mad freaky not to mention this the severed head with you know the flashlight in there and then he carves the face into a pumpkin I mean, come on, <laughs> but and also, um, and thankfully, I am not on the website called Reddit, where some people are on there and spoiling the ending because they went to go to the screening and stuff. I'm like, um, this movie doesn't come out for like another ten months. I mean, don't be that dude, okay? And don't even jump into my comment section telling me that, uh, oh, this happened, this happened, this is how it ended, this is how it ended. Like, don't do that. I mean, like I will lose all respect for you. Like if you are, if you are that kind of person, I mean, let, let us wait, let us anticipate, let us speculate until the movie actually gets here. And I will say that um, that it seems like the studio sent out like a lot of invites, uh, like almost to the point where they couldn't fit all, like all the number of invites that they sent to a lot of people. They couldn't fit it all to that one theater. Um. To the point where a good chunk of these people who went out their way to come and go to this test screening couldn't get in. And they just like, they were just sort of sent, you know, like sent away. Like, nope, 
Nope, the the, uh, the the theater's full or whatever. Um, I don't know if that were me, and I were just, I mean, I, and I were running the studio and stuff. I would say, okay, these people, some of these people came out here from like, for, for like from a long, they came a long way, you know, like I'm sure. So let's have a second screen for these people who came. You know, that that that's what I would have done. But um, I just feel like, ugh, it's a it's a flick in the balls. You know, like, <laughs> but for me, like, if they sent me an invite, I would, I, I would be honest with you guys. I would not go because I want to see the movie in its entirety, like, where it has the actual soundtrack that I'm going to hear in the movie as well, where it's completely finished. I mean, you could take me to an early premiere, like, a few months before the movie is released in theaters, but test screening, <laughs> I would take that I would decline it take it with a grain of salt and just be like nah I want you guys to finish it a little bit more and and like when you're really really done with it then okay but from the sounds of it it sounds like they don't need to change anything like you don't need to reshoot anything they might though but you know like um, from all the positive um, buzz that it's getting it seems like the, you know they don't need to really change anything because I remember Back when they um, had a test screen for Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers, people were like, oh, this is complete garbage. I can, I agree that the producer's cut is complete, you know, just completely, bleh, just complete garbage. I mean, that's just me. I don't like it, just m more so because of Michael's role in that movie. You know, him, you know, like impregnating his niece and all that stuff. Like, come on, what the fuck? <laughs> but, and also they said the same thing about 2018, like where they're like, um, you know, not a bad movie, but the ending is super... The, the ending sucked. And that's what a lot of people said when they had a test screening for that movie. And then they had... The, they took that very seriously. The studio took that seriously. And then they reshot the ending. So from the sounds of it here, it sounds like they don't need to change much of anything. Depending on how fast the spoilers get out, they may say, Okay, they're really spoiling the ending, so we're going to have to reshoot it. <laughs> I mean, I can see them... I mean, possibly doing that, but I don't know. I mean, from the sounds of the positivity alone, they may not have to, but we will see. But I am looking forward to it. I'm pretty sure we'll be, we should be getting a trailer in a few months. I mean, like, I, I mean, if, if, if you follow me, you guys know me, I am really excited. This is like probably in my top two highly anticipated movies of 2020. And, I can't wait to see where they take this movie, and I'm looking forward to what they have to offer. And I'm glad that they did not that did not stop with just 2018 because I felt like when the, the more I look back on that, the more I feel like that was just the beginning. So, yeah, all this buzz is giving me more excited when I thought I cannot be any more excited for this movie and Halloween ends, obviously. But yeah, I am definitely stoked to watch Halloween Kills now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you have seen the movie, please keep it to yourself. Please don't tell me anything about it. And I hear that a surprising, a surprise character returns in this movie too. I'm like, um, is it going to be within this timeline from 1978 to 2018 to here? Even though in this movie it still takes place in 2018. But, or is it going to be from a previous movie? Like, how? What? Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> but, um, hopefully, um, I actually, um, I didn't want to know that. You know, but I walked into this willingly, so at least they didn't ruin who the character was. So, hopefully I can make it all the way through October. Until I wait until I sit in that theater to see for myself who it is. But cannot flipping wait. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys enjoyed um, my, um, well, my topic or me discussing all the positive buzz that this test screening has gotten, make sure you thumb up this video and make sure you click subscribe if you're new to the channel. And make sure you click that notification bell so you can be updated on my latest videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys. <laughs>